uh, some, some presentations this morning about anti antibacterial or antimicrobial surface coatings. Um, for us, uh, you know, most people are going to wipe it down with a disinfectant, so that's certainly doable. Even better is if somehow the surface of the keyboard could kill the bugs itself, um, especially the underside that's maybe not getting wiped uh, as often. So a coating, an antimicrobial coating. We've looked at some silver ion stuff. The problem is that interferes with our touch capacitance field. So anything metallic tends to interfere with, with uh, the capacitance fields. So, so far we haven't implemented it, but um, we, we could definitely use that. This whole touch tap idea, we're using accelerometers, we're using touch sensors. Um, we would like to be able to license this, basically put touch tap on a chip and license that to mainstream OEM manufacturers of keyboards, laptops, tablets. So we'd like to miniaturize that technology, which right now is on about four different chips and spread out uh, on the keyboard. Press detection, <clears throat> the problem with making it so you have to tap is the first time somebody puts their fingers on here, they, they try to push the key down like this. So they're not tapping, they're, they're pressing. And so without a mechanical key moving, we, we would like to be able to detect that press even if it, they didn't lift their finger. We can detect it somewhat with the touch capacitance sensors because as you press, your finger spreads out and it changes the field. But uh, even better would be some sort of strain, strain gauge material over the top or something that could detect when you've put pressure on, on that area. And the last thing is a, a portable spot tester. Just explain what, what that means. The, the Health Care Act that was just passed in the United States is called the uh, Patient uh, Protection and Affordable Care Act. And part of that act requires hospitals to report their infection rates publicly. Uh, down there where, where medicine is privatized, this means a patient can literally shop for which hospital is least likely to kill them, which one has the best infection control, because it's public on a website starting in January. And part of the requirements to get Medicare payments is the hospital's program must include an active surveillance component. So they need to go around and check if there's infection. And so there's going to be a huge demand for something that can do that much quicker than, than swabbing and culturing right now. Uh, you know, a little thing that you can do this to a system, put it in a, a little widget, hit a button, and 30 seconds later, bing, tell you whether or not the bugs are there would be a huge, huge help in anywhere, but hospitals uh, especially are going to need that, that kind of thing. So uh, that's not something we're making. I'm just putting it out there that there is a law that says hospitals need to do this now, and so there's a, a real market opportunity. That's the end of my presentation, and uh, hopefully we can keep on track, and thank you very much.